This is Chicho. Now we're in series four right now and in the beginning of this series I mentioned that I was going to talk a little bit more about zero and infinity. Basically continuing on with one of the first videos we put out uh, in 2007 the language of mathematics I think it was uh, video number five where I put out a little teaser video on how zero and infinity are related and uh, what the concept of zero and infinity really mean. What we're going to do right now is take a look at infinity specifically and take a look at what infinity means. And for me, infinity has two different definitions, two different meanings, or two different uh, ways you're going to look at it, okay? So this is a symbol um, that we use to represent infinity, the figure eight, right? And the way we look at infinity, or the way I look at infinity, is basically having two different meanings. One is the countable infinity, something that you can do forever, that goes on forever, until the end of time. And this infinity, where we think about it as something that's countable, something that we can do, even though we can't do it, because we have a certain amount of lifespan, right? We can't go on forever. But but for some reason, it's, it's something that you can perceive, right? And that infinity is manageable. The other infinity, the other definition of infinity that we have is where the universe explodes, where, where the language of mathematics collapses, okay? Where, where the question really becomes irrelevant. It's, it, it, it's, it's something that we cannot comprehend, okay? So those are the two different infinities we're gonna talk about right now. Let's look, take a look at the infinity that goes on forever, something that you can basically count maybe, right? Let's look at the natural number set from um, the real numbers. Uh, one, again, one of the first videos that we ever produced, right? So let's take a look at the natural numbers. And as we talked about, natural numbers are just basically whole positive numbers that go on forever. And that's something you can, you can, you can sort of imagine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and just continue counting if you feel like it, right? That's something you can imagine, that just sitting there and just counting higher and higher numbers. So this is one example of infinity, right? And one thing you should keep in mind in this, in this version, definition of perspective of infinity is, is that there are different size infinities. There are infinities that could be bigger than other infinities. Just as an example, let's take a, take a look at the whole number set that includes the natural numbers. Right? So let's take a look at the whole number set. Again, something we talked about with the real, from the real number set, right? Whole number set includes the natural numbers plus zero, right? So the whole numbers, again, it's, it goes on forever, it's infinite. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, dot, 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 just continue on, right? The whole number set goes on forever, the natural number set goes on forever, but the whole number set is bigger than the natural number set because it includes one, two, three, it includes all the natural numbers plus one, which is a weird, weird, weird concept to think about where if something's infinite, another infinite could be bigger because it goes infinite plus one, right? And again, that's just one simple example. That's just one more. This is the whole number set. It's just one more bigger than the natural number set, right? The integers is double the natural, the, double the natural numbers plus one, right? So the integers are positive and negative whole numbers, including, well, positive and negative natural numbers, including number zero, right? So it's zero, and then all the positive numbers, or if you're looking at the video, all the positive numbers and all the negative numbers, right? And that infinity is, the integers, is, inf uh, is twice as big as the natural numbers plus the number zero, right? So this infinity, the integer infinity is bigger than the whole number, uh, whole number set, right? The integer set is bigger than the whole number set. And from this, we can go to the, uh, to the rational numbers, which are infinitely larger than all of those. So what are the rational numbers? And again, we talked about this uh, in the third and fourth video, I believe, which are any numbers that you can write as fractions of integers, right? So rational numbers aren't twice, three times, four times, 10 times, 100 times bigger than the integers. They're infinitely larger than the integers. Because if you can think about it, take, take the number zero and take the number one, right? 
Number zero and number one occur in the whole numbers, in the integers, and the same length, the same distance occurs in natural numbers between one and two, right? So take the numbers zero and one, between those two numbers, you can put an infinite amount of other numbers, right? And those are your rational numbers, because as long as you can represent those numbers as fractions of integers, there's an infinite number that can go there, right? If you want to think about one number that goes between zero and one, is a half, right? Take the average between zero and one, you get a half. Take the average between zero and a half, you get a quarter. Take the average between zero and a quarter, you get one eighth. Average between zero and one eighth is one sixteenth, one thirty second, one sixty fourth, and just continue from there, right? So any two numbers you have, right? Any two numbers that you can take, you can always place a rational number between them, okay? Because you can just take the average of them. So that's the rational numbers. Rational numbers are infinitely larger than integers, right? And integers are larger than whole numbers, bigger infinity than whole numbers, and whole numbers are bigger infinity than the natural numbers. And from here, we can go to the irrational numbers. Hi, how are you doing? So this is the irrational numbers, and irrational numbers are any numbers that we can't write as fractions of integers, right? Which is the opposite of rational numbers. And for irrational numbers, there's an infinitely larger amount of irrational numbers than there are rational numbers, right? And again, so forth, we just keep on going down in the size of the sets that we have. They're all infinity. But this one is bigger than this one, which is bigger than this one, which is bigger than this one, which is bigger than this one, right? Which is, which is pretty interesting. It's just different size infinities. And there's an amazing documentary out uh, regarding infinity. It's called um, Forbidden Knowledge, I believe. And if you get a chance, take a look at that documentary and you'll appreciate this infinity a little bit more and the other infinity that we're about to talk about. Now, the other infinity, the other way you can think about infinity is where the universe explodes, the laws of mathematics collapse, right? Where there is no question, there is no, there, there is no, uh, there, there isn't any way we can relate to what happens with this other infinity. And this other infinity occurs when we divide by zero. And the other way you can think about infinity is, if you end up dividing by zero, you get the empty number set. And this, this symbol is the zero with the line across, just basically means undefined. And instead of this, you could use the infinity symbol here, right? So we can't divide by zero. If we divide by zero, what happens is the laws of mathematics collapse. Uh, basically, the universe explodes as we know it, because mathematics being the language that we're able to quantify the world, quantify the, uh, the, the universe, universe, what, what we're able to interact with, that language collapses. So we have no idea what happens when we divide by zero. It, it, it gets an empty, it, empty number set, right? The, the question becomes irrelevant. It's just, it, it doesn't make sense. It's something that we cannot comprehend, okay? And if we want to take a look at this, let's go, let's go take a look at this concept. This as well, infinity is how it can just continuously grow and what it means when there is nothing, there is no question, there is no, no interaction when we divide by zero. And what we're gonna do is basically go and graph this function, uh, f of x is equal to one over x, right? And what we're gonna find out is when f of zero, if we set x equal to zero, then f of zero is the empty number set. And this is, this is something that we got our hands a little bit dirty on in series three as well, right? Three, series three a and b, or maybe it was just three, series three b, right? But let's go take a look at a function, what, what it looks like visually in a Cartesian coordinate system, and how we can sort of relate to these two things. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Good. What is your job? Uh, I make math videos. I teach math. So I'm doing uh, mathematics. What is your education level? Uh, mathematics. University? Uh, yes, yes. Are you single? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm with someone. Ah. Yeah, I have a partner. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 